what is the difference between the Oplex 4-in-1 moisture mask and the Oplex number 8 Bond Intense moisture mask. Here we have the Oplex number 4-in-1 and here we have the Oplex number 8. Since I have both of these and I have tested them out separately, today we're going to be putting them side by side and we're going to see how they perform and if they're really that different at all. Oh, la gente. Welcome back. So you already know the plan for today. Let's start with the obvious and that is kind of marketing or distribution because Oplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask is actually the consumer version of the 4-in-1. 4-in-1 is only sold in most countries to licensed professionals. I know it can be really tricky with all the fake products going around if you're not buying them in official stores, but since that is not the case in my country, it's just not, you know, highly regulated here. Just Anyone can get just about any professional product. So the first obvious difference here is that the Oplex 4-in-1 Moisture Mask contains 370 mils or 12.55 fluid ounces of product, whereas the Oplex number 8 only has 100 mils. Just 3.3 fluid ounces is very, very tiny. They both have you know, pumps, which is a great thing. That's something they have in common. Or in one should give you 100 applications based on what the packaging says here. They both have the exact same claims. Moisturize, smooth, add body and shine. And they're both made for all hair types. They're both supposed to be very concentrated hair masks and they both have the patented Oplex technology. But once again, here it specifically says that 4-in-1 is for professional use only. So listen to the product description. It says infused with patented Oplex bond building technology. This highly concentrated 4-in-1 reparative hair mask adds shine and body while providing intense moisture to treat damaged hair. The sentence on the professional version is exactly the same. The only difference is at the end of that sentence. It says intense moisture to treat all hair types and textures. While here it says intense moisture to treat damaged hair. The Olplex entire brand identity is based upon um, hair repair and reversing hair damage. So I don't see a clear difference there. If you ask me at the back, the biggest difference is that here it says it is an intensely concentrated formula, but this one is supposed to be very, very intense as well. So I don't know. Is the professional version actually better, more powerful than the number eight, or should you just stick to Oplex number eight? I just took a look at the ingredients and both the ingredients and the order of the ingredients seem to be the same. Maybe we're just getting more product in here. All right, let's go ahead and start with the application. Okay, so my hair is already shampooed. I used Oplex number four today, and I have a minor complaint, I guess. And that is that some people find it very, very confusing that they actually named the hair mask four in one because number four is the shampoo. And sometimes I feel that the whole Oplex numbering system is a little bit confusing to most people. Number eight says two pumps for shoulder length hair. Clearly I have a lot longer hair than that. I'm gonna do three pumps. One, two, three and I'm going to apply on the left side, my left side, and I'm just gonna try to spread it evenly. As you can see, my hair is pretty damp, but not soaking wet. I've said this before, but in general, we don't want to dilute the power of any hair mask, so damp hair is fine. Now let's move on to this side with the four in one. One pump for mid length hair or adjust as needed. So I'm gonna do two pumps, sorry, that was one, and two. I'm gonna try to focus as much as possible on the ends. There 
we go. Um, I'm gonna leave these on. Number eight says precisely 10 minutes. We're gonna do 10 minutes on both sides. While we're waiting, you should know that the second ingredient in the ingredients list, as you guys know, ingredients are listed, I think it's by law, from the highest concentration to the lowest. And the second ingredient is dimethicone. So this is not a silicone free hair mask. None of these are. There's dimethicone at the top and then closer to the bottom, there's hemodimethicone, which is another silicone. So not a silicone free product, not necessarily a bad thing. So as you guys saw, I'm just using this uh, hair mask following the number four shampoo. However, number four in one in the salon will generally follow kind of the standalone treatment that is Oplex one and two. Normally you would get offered this hair mask, not exclusively, but generally when you have your hair bleached or chemically processed in some way and they use a number one and number two before um, moisturizing with the hair mask. Now, when we want to mirror that at home, we would use zero, which I happen to have right here, followed by number three that I have in my bathroom. And then we would shampoo with number four and moisturize with Opex number eight. That is kind of the full Opex routine at home. But you can also just replace your regular conditioner with the number eight hair mask just like I'm doing today because I want to isolate the hair mask as much as possible from the other steps so that we kind of see how these perform without any additional help of the other products. If you want me to test both of these with the other steps, we could maybe do kind of a full professional Oplex routine versus in at home. You know what? That actually may be an interesting video. So summing up so far, the main difference is the packaging and the presentation. We have different pumps, but they're still, you know, pumps. And we're getting about four times the product in here that you get here, a little over four times. Number eight is 28 US dollars, which is no surprise because that's actually the exact amount that you get charged for every single one of the steps in the consumer line 69.99 there's another reseller that says it's 79.99 obviously if you want to get a hold of one of these opex 4-in-1 you better do this through a hairstylist you want to make sure you have the real original products not fake ones that will cause nothing but bankruptcy so if there are any hairdressers watching let me know in the comments below how much you pay for the Oplex 4-in-1 for your salon. I paid 12,000 pesos for this. Oh my God. Right now would be around $60, maybe a little bit more. So hard because we have like different exchange rates here. Okay, time is up. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit so that we can compare both sides. Um, maybe I will blow dry as well because that's what I do. So I'm gonna try to show you both and uh, we'll see. All right, here we are. Both sides were equally easy to rinse out. I don't see any difference there. The texture is pretty similar. They're also equally ineffective in my case to help remove tangles. I have quite a bit of tangles going on. I don't think that's the hair masks. Because forte on both sides I have tangles. But let's be real here. This is a strengthening, moisturizing and um, body and shine type of product. They're not claiming or promising any detangling power. But I'm just mentioning this because I know that if you have um, long tangled hair, you really want to have that detangling power to help you navigate through this easily. <laughs> I wanted to do kind of a close up so that you can see both hair masks and the texture because I forgot to do that at the beginning. So we have one pump there, one pump there. Someone's going to say, oh, you're wasting product, but you guys do want me to make this video. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so here we have the Oplex number four in one and here we have the Oplex number eight. So let's just look at the texture of the four in one. And now let's look at the texture of this one. There is 
a difference. Actually, this one seems creamier and this one seems to have a little bit less water. Not a huge difference, to be honest, but there you have it. While we're waiting for my hair to air dry a little bit, bought these uh, pH test papers. And the idea, of course, is to measure the pH of the hair mask. Let's do the number eight first. I need a second one. I'm going to place the in one. All right, I'm gonna go in and detangle a little bit. Especially now that I've had more highlights done to my hair, my hair is very, very fragile. This is what I don't quite like about this hair mask because let's face it, um, we may cause breakage while detangling if the hair mask is not helping us with that. Now that said, because these two are part of a bigger system, normally I would follow with at least Olaplex number six. I'm not gonna do that today because like I said, I want to isolate the products as much as possible, see how they perform on their own. But number six would follow and then I would go in with the tangle teaser so that it adds a little bit of slipperiness and helps detangle the hair. So that's a tip for you guys. Another thing you could do while you're waiting and you have the hair mask on your hair, you have product on, you go in then. That's what I should have done. You go in then really, really gentle still because your hair is wet and fragile and uh, use the tangle teaser in that moment. Like I said, not everybody struggles with tangles, so it may not be that important for you. I'm gonna let this air dry just a little bit. I think I'm just gonna pin my bangs, just because they're gonna look awful no matter what. And I'm gonna be back in about... <laughs> and I am going to allow this to at least start air drying a little bit so that we can see the smoothing effect on air dried hair, because I know this is something that Many of you guys that are subscribed to this channel usually ask for, so I have no problem in doing that. Not that I think about it, I, I think it's the first time um, we're gonna see. I'm looking at the strips, certainly have the same color, they have reacted in a similar way, so I would guess somewhere between maybe a five and a six. Like, I'm not a lab or a biochemist, so take this with a grain of salt. pH less than seven, which is this green one right here, is acidic and in general we want hair masks to be more on the acid side That's why okay so this is almost fully air dried i know my natural hair texture and how wavy and frizzy my hair is naturally genetically plus the added frizz that bleach damage also does to the hair. I know that this is actually not that bad. I can work with this. So imagine if I had added uh, Oplex 6 and 7 before air drying, um, it would actually look pretty good. With all those things in mind, I don't think either of these sides are completely frizz free. I've experimented better air dried results with other hair masks maybe at the expense of them slightly weighing my hair down which is not the case with this one you can barely feel any product at all it's really lightweight i feel it could work really really nicely with naturally straighter hair types or thinner hair type as far as air dried results i would say it does help with frizz control it does not eliminate frizz completely. So as you can see, especially on the shorter bangs and a little bit here, it still looks a little bit frizzy, but it's not bad. Let's give it a 7 out of 10. It does feel moisturized and soft. Also, I don't know if I'm crazy or something, but I'm liking a little bit more the side with the Oplex number 8. And I don't know if that's just a um, weird coincidence, but it does look slightly better. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry off camera just to make things faster. See if I change my mind in any way. Enchanté. All right, it wasn't exactly easy to get the hair as smooth and 
as fast as I wanted it to, but I ended up looking really, really good. Again, you're supposed to use number six and seven, but we're just testing out these two. That said, I do love the results. It does give really nice body. I didn't see where they were going with the body claim when I was air drying it, but now that I see heat style, movement and body that I think have to do with the hair masks. Honestly, I don't see a huge difference between the two, but I do have a preference and I'm quite surprised actually that I do. Um, and I actually do like a tiny bit more the number eight side, which is crazy, right? Because this is supposed to be the professional product and I actually wish the number eight came in this presentation for at-home use. So if you're asking me, should you go out of your way to buy the professional four in one when you can get the number eight at Sephora or Ulta or ovoplex.com, I wouldn't do that if I were you. So for shine and body, I would say both are definitely a yes. Plus, they also have the Oplex patented technology. Smoothing and detangling power, I'm not like wowed. They're okay, but they're not like my favorite in those areas. So yeah, that is it for now. Hope you found in this comparison review everything you needed to make the right purchase decision for you. If this video helped you in any way, shape or form, please be sure to use my links on this or any of my other videos. I have links for the main online stores, beauty stores. You are helping me out when you use those to buy products, no matter the product, whatever product you already need, you're already going to buy. If you use my links, it really helps. If you have any other questions, anything I missed or left out, please do let me know in the comments below. I usually respond to most of the comments, if not every single one of them. And uh, yeah, I will catch up with you all again on my 